What's up? Um, let's get out of the way. Uh, I have a speech impediment. This is how I sound all the time. Uh, people think I'm retarded all the fucking time. Like, all the time. Like, it's... And I'm also from the South, so, like, it sucks being called retarded. But it sucks way more being called retarded by someone who's definitely retarded. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'm actually smart, though. I went to school, to college. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in biology. I was going to be a doctor. And then I realized what kind of doctor I would be. Then I changed my plans completely, you know? Like, I realized that I would be the type of doctor you see. And then you immediately see a second doctor. <laughs> you fucked up seeing me. Yeah. Like, I would be the type of doctor you see if you have Obamacare. You know? Like, you fucked up in your 20s. You, know? you wouldn't even have to pay me real money. You could pay me with a sandwich and we're okay. You know? The ham and cheese? Give me that shit. You have cancer. Get the fuck out of my office. No, no. One of my, impe my biggest impediment is I can't say R's in words. I say W's instead, and which sucks. I hate sounding like that. Cause there's a lot of things I can't do with my voice. Like I can never prank call my friends ever. <laughs> like, ever. like I'll call them. It's like wang 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 wang. <laughs> the phone has a speech impediment as well. So I'll try like wang 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 wang. wang. Like, Josh, we know it's you. I'm like, oh, this is just your refrigerator repair guy. Uh, go fuck yourself, Josh. <laughs> you do this every day. I'm 30, and I realize there's a lot of things about people I hate. I hate everything. I'm very hateful. Uh, this has been bothering me lately. Uh, lately, people have been talking really close to my face, which I hate. Back the fuck off. <laughs> no one should be allowed to talk to you that close to your face, except like one group of people. And that's people missing an arm, you know? If you're missing an arm, I need you to talk to me that close to my face, because that's the only way I'm not going to stare at that missing arm. You, know? you can be a hot girl, and you take a step back, where the fuck is that arm at? You know? I would definitely have sex with a girl with a missing arm, because I have no standards at all. Uh -oh. I would have to be on top of her. I would have to lift a leg up to hide where the missing arm is. And when I finish too early, like I always do. Like always. And she's like, Josh, what the fuck? I can just let the leg go and be like, where the fuck is that arm at? We have bigger issues to talk about. And then lift the leg back up, round two. That wasn't really a joke, that was more of a TED talk just to tell you guys I fuck, you know? <laughs> I'm getting better with women. I'm getting much better with women, which is exciting. A year and a half ago, I realized that I was so bad with women that I realized that I was every woman's low point. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they'll sleep with me, but then they change their lives the next day. You know? <laughs> like, they'll sleep with me, and then they go back to college the next day. <laughs> or they quit drinking because they're making horrible decisions. <laughs> I was that decision. I'll be that decision tonight, I don't give a fuck. You know? <laughs> I'm getting better with women because I'm getting more confident in myself. I have a lot more confidence in myself. Like, you know? Like, I can tell me I'm more confident because I'm getting hit on by a lot of people right now. A lot more people. Like, right now, the women that are hitting on me are six. But the men that are hitting on me now are tense, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not gay, but it feels amazing to get hit on by dudes, you know? Like, my next step of confidence is, like, women are seven, and, like, men that will pay my bills, you know? <laughs> Dad needs a new car. <laughs> Would I suck a dick for a Lamborghini? I don't know. What color is it? Uh, definitely not talking about the Lamborghini. <laughs> I told that joke in La Jolla, California. I don't know where that's at. Very wealthy part of San Diego. I did that joke and this old guy stood up. And he's like, I got two Lamborghinis. 
I had no clue what to do with that moment. No clue. And now I own a Lamborghini, guys. Exactly. Thank you. Have a good night.